Hi, I, I'm going to demonstrate you uh, how Autodesk PLM 316 and Forbix can interplay together. As you probably know, Autodesk PLM 360 is the new cloud PLM application available from Autodesk. Uh, in, Forbix, uh, in Forbix applications allows you to find, reuse and share product data. Uh, so what I'm going to show you is uh, how these uh, two cloud applications uh, interplay together. And the main scenario that I'm going to focus is to present how actually Inforbix can help uh, Autodesk PLM 360 to access uh, data that's located in a company. And in my particular case, uh, I'm going to work with the SolidWorks, so my customer Imagine customer working with SolidWorks and uh, uh, have uh, CAD and different product data located in the company. And at the same time, he's interested to start using Autodesk PLM 360 to manage their processes. So pretty straightforward scenario. And let me show how it's can play together. So uh, first of all, Autodesk PLM 360. Uh, let me log in to this application. <coughs> so that's I'm in the other desk okay, I'm uh, Now in Forbix uh, is running also in the browser, and you can see in Forbix uh, home screen. Uh, for this scenario, uh, our environment is installed also on my machine, so you can see also installed uh, SolidWorks. Um, SolidWorks run in a separate virtual machine for this particular case. And we have uh, Inforbix Product Data Crawler installed here. And Inforbix Product Data Crawler is the application which runs in your company, uh, scans and index product data and then make this data available through the uh, Inforbix cloud application. So let me go back to Inforbix applications. And uh, I'm going to start in Inforbix uh, My Stuff. Uh, this is the documents, this is the document number that I'm going to work on. So if I click, I'm going to search for all documents with this particular part number. And you can see, quite easy, we can get results. And this is the particular drawing that I'm interested to work on. Uh, you can see that uh, in Forbix gathering call information about this drawing and all related pieces. So you can see you have an access to references, you can have access to sheets. Uh, the interesting part is that uh, Inforbix also provides the availability of tables. So tables in the drawing, obviously it's a revision table and bill of materials. So, Inforbix allows you easier to access information in the table, and in our case, it's going to be something interesting because these are, this table is a bill of material. So, if I create a table, you can see that I have an easy access to bill of material, and I already had this table created before, so I can go back to uh, Inforbix stuff. And I can see this bill of material table created. And this is the bill of material which is uh, synchronized uh, using the product from SolidWorks drawing. Uh, now let's go back to uh, PLM 360. Uh, think about the scenario that a uh, manufacturing engineer is interested to access. PLM 360 to start planning manufacturing bill of material or engineering bill of material and use some information that located uh, in the CAD files. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward scenario and the biggest problem that uh, this engineer will have is that uh, PLM 360 running on the cloud, the CAD files located on premises and the vault servers on file servers in the company, so how this can interplay together, that's the problem that Inforbix is going to solve. Now let me start uh, with the particular item in the PLM 360. So I'm opening this particular item. 
And uh, you can see something very interesting. Uh, in Forbix uh, widgets and in Forbix uh, web parts uh, running inside of uh, PLM 360 application. And you have the access to something that you just seen before in the browser in Forbix application. So you see the tables of drawing and you may see also a search for the particular documents. And you can see this is the same drawing, and this is the same information that Infobix makes you available inside of PLM 360 uh, in a very easy way. And obviously, each time that you want to jump to the real Infobix screen, you can go to Links, and you can easily jump to this real screen and open it in the single screen. Right? Now let's go back to PLM 360. Now I'm scrolling down and I actually can see a bill of material table that is located inside of SOLIDWORKS drawing. And this is really cool because actually information is uh, available on the cloud. However, the actual information and the actual drawings are located in the company. Uh, now let me uh, show you some other interesting things is how actually the information can flow between uh, on-premises uh, in the SOLIDWORKS and uh, application running in the cloud. So let me go back to uh, SOLIDWORKS. And uh, I will make some changes in the SOLIDWORKS. So this is, the <coughs> this is actually the assembly we are working on. And this is the same drawing that we <coughs> we've been looking on inside of uh, Forbix application and inside of Forbix uh, widgets in PLM 360. So you see drawing bill of material, and I'm uh, I will be making some changes now in SolidWorks uh, assembly. So let me go back to assembly. And I will not do anything fancy, I will just place one more component. So you will see some changes in the build material. So this is the component. And I'm placing this component just over here. So I mean for this such type of, uh, of simplicity. But let's assume this is the change that I'm making now. Let me move back to uh, SolidWorks drawing. <coughs> And now you can see that actually the uh, bill of material is updated, and we can see five uh, components here. Another interesting thing that I want to show you is that actually now I'm going to save my work in SOLIDWORKS. I'm going to save everything. And let me make the save. This is the regular work of the engineer in SOLIDWORKS. <clears throat> and uh, as I'm making save, I'm going to watch what actually will be happens on the side of Infobix, because Infobix is actually synchronizing information and capturing changes that happened now in the CAD files, and scan and indexing this information, and this information seamlessly will be transferred to the Infobix cloud trade. Uh, so, uh, the uh, magic behind this is that uh, Infobix product data crawlers actually run behind the scene. You, it's not influence your workflow, it's not influence the way you work in the sidewalks, which is making a regular save like you do uh, usually. And uh, Infobix product data crawler capture this information and uh, make this information available also from cloud application. <coughs> <Some time. coughs> In your normal work, you shouldn't worry about this time delay. Now, for the purpose of the video, these are seconds that are going very slowly. Okay, so the information actually transferred. 
And uh, now let me go back to uh, VLM 360 and to Infobix. Now I can go to the Infobix X table, the Infobix table application, and I will actually make a refresh. <clears throat> I will see that uh, information uh, is uh, transferred and updated already. So we can just go and uh, make a refresh. And you can see now we do have five components. Now, if I will go to the PLM 360, it's actually will be the same information. So when I will refresh the uh, PLM 360 page, you will see that the same information is actually seamlessly available in the PLM 360, and we do have five components after the change that I made. So in fact, Informix actually make this change available in the LM360 and you can work with the material. Now, next and final step in this scenario, I would like to create an uh, engineering bill of material or manufacturing bill of material based on this component. So we implemented a little script that will run and uh, take data from uh, Informix widget and create engineering and manufacturing or manufacturing bill of material in the LM 360 and you can see bill of material here now becomes my component if I'm going to see this I can see this bill of material appear here so just to summarize uh, we've been running the product applications uh, from the cloud we've been running SOLIDWORKS in my company, uh, making changes in the build material, and in Forbix helps you uh, to connect this information and integrate this information between uh, PLM 360 and uh, uh, CAD information uh, located in SOLIDWORKS in this particular case, and everything works seamlessly together and simplify processes. So, uh, in Forbix, by doing so, help you to integrate information located uh, in your company with uh, processes that Autodesk PLM 360 running using cloud application, which makes everything working together. And I hope you enjoy this demo. And if you have any questions, go to Informix.com and contact us and we will be glad to uh, discuss uh, it with you. Thank you very much.